Oregon has roughly 3,000 acres of cranberries. 64% of farmers are independent of the Ocean Spray Agricultural Cooperative, the highest percentage of independent cranberry farmers in the United States. Bringing in over $12 million annually, cranberries are the fifth most valuable bilberry in Oregon. In the southern Oregon coast, they have what is called the claylock soil, which is a sandy soil with clay. This type of soil has nutrients bound up and is typically high in phosphorus. Soil samples determine what blend of fertilizers are blessed. Phosphorus helps with cell division. When phosphorus is slow, the plant produces small berries. Too much nitrogen, and the growth pops, but the berries do not grow. Growers consistently monitor the health of their bogs. This year, heavy rains broke everything loose. This yielded a lot of growth and less fertilizer was needed than in years past. Fertilizer is normally applied during the spring because this is when the growth starts. The optimal time is when the flowers are very small and just beginning to bloom. Dry fertilizer pellets can be sprinkled onto the ground. However, this takes time to break down and get absorbed by the plant. Alternatively, fertilizer can be added to the irrigation. This is called chemigation. In this way, the, nu the nutrients are on the leaves and available immediately for the plants to use.